Spokane police say their use of force numbers will climb. Well, the police department is expanding its definition of what constitutes an officer's use of force, also how it's reported and investigated. KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey working for you at the Public Safety Building with why the department thinks use of force reports will spike. I want to give it a little bit of push with his second hand here. And now right now, every Spokane police officer from the chief on down is going through their annual use of force certification. What's different this year is the type of offensive actions officers have to report to their supervisors, which now includes impact weapons like batons. The new process allows us to look at each use of force and, like you said, determine whether there's some changes that we need to make, new equipment, new training, and things like that. Sir, you're under arrest. From now on, any application of pepper spray has to be reported. The same is true of lateral neck restraints, even when the person being held isn't rendered unconscious. It's such an excellent technique. We gain compliance so quickly. Um, it's safer for us. It's safer for the suspect. It ends situations very quickly. The changes in reporting were recommended by the Department of Justice. Every use of force has to be reported at the end of every shift and will be reviewed by a use of force board on a monthly basis. Hopefully the sergeant, his direct supervisor, is catching those things right off the bat, but if for some reason that he doesn't, is getting to a use of force review board, which is looking at all of them as a, as a whole. And then additionally on top of that, there's another uh, layer with internal affairs. Now, this policy change also requires patrol officers to carry a minimum of two non-lethal weapons on duty, a taser, a baton, or pepper spray, just to make sure, Nadine, they have the tools they need to subdue a combative subject without putting them in the hospital. So, Jeff, this new reporting process could help weed out officers who use excessive force? There's a new policy that any more than four uses of force during one year is going to draw a lot of extra scrutiny from the use of force board. It could be related to an officer's shift or area, but they patrol, but more than a career move, at the very least, could get you a lot more time at the training center. Reporting in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.